All right, so we got a brand new light. This is gonna be the T2 from Through Night. They just recently sent this out to me, so we're gonna do a quick little review on this. All right, so this light is gonna have a super high lumen output of 3,757 lumens. I know, that's a weird number for the lumens to be. Uh, not really sure why they do that, but that's what it is. 3757 lumens, which is super bright for a flashlight this small. Now it's gonna have some of the same features that come with some of their other lights, like the one I just reviewed, the Through Night TT20, uh, some of the Olight flashlights, but it also does have some differences. So, you know, let's just get right into it. Quickly, what's in the box, you know, is their usual stuff, the manuals, the USB-C charging port. I'm really glad that all companies are using the USB-Cs now because obviously everything has switched to that. So it'd be kind of ridiculous companies to still be using the micro USBs, but they are, they have switched over to the USB-Cs, makes it super simple. I can grab my phone charger and plug it right in. It's gonna charge it, no problem. In the box, they also include your standard lanyard. Plus you got your carrier, your sheath. You wanna throw this in there. They work perfectly fine for this. You loop that through your belt and it's good to go. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice on this light does not have the tail end switch. You know, the last two lights that I reviewed, which is the TT20 right here, has a tail end switch. And then the All Light Warrior Mini, once again, has a tail end switch. Now, that's gonna be different on this one. This one is, at the end of this, there is no magnetic base, there is no um, tactical switch. It's just gonna have the one button. To be honest, I never cared too much about the tail end switch on these things, but ever since they sent me the TT20 and the, the Warrior Mini, uh, I gotta say, I've been using that uh, those a lot. You know, every time I pull it out of my pocket, I tend to go for those back buttons. So now that I got this one, I am kind of missing that part a little bit, but this one is really, really bright, especially for a smaller light like this. So that's a big plus. Now, I'm just gonna compare it to a couple lights here. The TT20 does come with the tail end switch, but look how much bigger that is than this one. Um, this one is a great light. This one is gonna be a little bit more compact and it actually is going to be brighter than the tt20 now as far as the warrior mini uh these are going to be roughly the same size the warrior mini is slightly smaller it is going to be thinner but we're talking about 1500 lumen light here and uh 3757 lumen light here so to get you know more than double on not that much bigger um that's really really nice all right so as far as the build goes this is going to have the same high quality build that some of their other lights have uh, this is very similar as you can see the outside here is uh, made of some kind of aluminum the check screen you know it's exactly the same pretty much the same the difference is going to be it's almost like it got chopped off right here and instead of the tail end switch you know you get a more compact light that you can use for like edc and stuff now, as far as the pocket clip on this one, you know, just like all light, just like some of Through Night's other lights, you know, they do have the double-sided clip, which means you can clip it up, clip it down. It is gonna work both ways. What I do like about this one specifically is if you notice, uh, the pocket clip goes all the way to the end there. So this is gonna make it a deep carry. So when you put that in your pocket, you know, the light's gonna go all the way in. You will not be able to see this, so you can definitely hide it. Now, as far as the bezel goes, uh, it's not gonna have the super aggressive uh, texturing uh, like some of these other lights. It's gonna be a very smooth texturing, as you can see in the light there, you know, on the reflective, let's see if I can get that on camera. You are gonna have a little bit of texturing. It's not gonna be uh, like super smooth. So again, what's gonna be powering this light is gonna be one of their 5,000 milliamp uh, batteries, the 21700 batteries. Um, these batteries are like ginormous. You know, they definitely hold a lot of juice. They're uh, pretty powerful batteries. And as you can see, pretty much the size of the light is the size of the battery. Basically nothing's added extra. You got the bulb here 
and you got the little canister for the light and that's pretty much the size of it they made it as compact as possible and they added that super powerful battery you know to be able to you know make this a 3757 light so all right so as far as functions go you hold down the button and I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but that's going to be the Firefly mode and that's going to be 0.3 lumens uh, and that's going to run you 69 days. If you were to leave it on like this, this thing will run 69 days. All right, here we got the low mode. That's going to be 30 lumens and that's going to run 77 hours if you were to leave it on. Uh, medium mode, hold it down again. And that's going to be 366 lumens that will run 7.5 hours if you were to leave it on and then hold it down again or there we go and that's going to be the high mode and that's going to be 1712 lumens now this one has a step down so after three minutes it'll drop down to 732 lumens uh, and that will run 223 minutes now from there there is a turbo mode and the way you get to the turbo mode is uh you double click and that goes into the turbo mode that's going to be the 3757 lumens that runs for two minutes after two minutes it does drop down to 725 lumens and that will run for 216 minutes and then of course same as pretty much every other light you hit it three times and that will give you your strobe one two three and does this have a lockout mode uh not sure let's test that out usually in firefly mode you hold it down and Yes, there is a lockout mode, so you can lock this out. So if it's in your pocket, you don't have to worry about wasting any other batteries. You can lock it to unlock it, hold it down again, and then it goes off of um, the lockout mode. All right, so as far as functions, that's pretty much it. You know, it's uh, if you guys have seen these videos, these lights before, they are all very, very similar as far as the way they function, the way you go through like the menus on these things. What's gonna be different with this one is that it has a really, really high output mode of, uh, again, 3757 lumens. That is really, really bright for something uh, this small. It's crazy how the lights keep getting smaller, but they just keep getting brighter. Um, and this is no exception here. I gotta say, there's really not too much else with this. This is gonna be waterproof. Uh, the only thing you gotta do is make sure that this rubber piece is nicely in there and sealed, because that's probably the only spot that it could really go in. Well, make sure that the batteries, you know, it does open on both sides here, so you just gotta make sure that both sides are twisted on tight. You can use it underwater. Uh, it'll be fine. I've tested these lights many times before, and they all do great underwater. But other than that, you know, great light super bright it is um pretty easy to carry uh i like the deep carry i liked everything about it the only thing i did not like as much is recently i've gotten used to these lights with the back tail end switch every time i pull them out i tend to go for that switch instead of the side switch it just makes it a little bit easier but you know everybody has their own preference and to be honest if you're a collector and you collect many different lights, you're gonna have all kinds of different ones. You're gonna have the ones with the without the tail end, with the tail end, the simple ones like this uh, CV light, cheap light, you know, but it works. You hit the button, it's on and off, has a zoomable feature. I mean, there's so many different functions, so many different features on so many different lights. So this is gonna be another great light to add to your collection. But uh, that's pretty much it guys. I'm gonna link this in the description if you guys are interested in the Through Night T2. I wanna thank Through Night for sending me out this light. You know, again, this is my own personal opinion. They did send me out the light, but they're not paying me. So this is my personal opinion on all of these lights and i hope you guys enjoyed the video any questions any comments anything like that leave them down below in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching az tech and we will catch you guys next time Peace.